Good kitten internet, and welcome back to Let's Play Wild Arms. Two, not one. Um, we're going to do some more side quests, because we have, I think, all the abilities that we care about to be able to do these side quests. I don't know why I'm doing that. I want to teleport. Oh, now you get back up there. I moved that because you weren't there, kitty cat. Oh, silly kitty. We're actually going back to marry a bull. Because there's actually something that's been around since the start of the game. Will you get a good view at him cleaning his paws? He's being a very good kitty right now. So, way back at the start of the game, we saw this. Very start of the game. I just realized I was off side of the... Oh yeah, I forgot to listen to the video to see how... But how loud I've been. Boom, 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 boom. Turn down the gain a little bit. I want to make sure that when I'm speaking up, I don't hit red zone. That should be a little better, at least. Anyway, we need to go to the archives. Heck if I remember how to do that, but we need to go to the archives. How's it going, by the way? It is still the same day as the previous two videos in my case. Uh, I need to... S I don't like how far over I seem to be on camera. Oh, that's because I'm actually flipping things. Hold on a moment. That's a little bad error. That's actually the edge of the camera, what's over on the left now. So, there was a book in here that we weren't able to access before. Not in here. Although, what are they saying now? If I had my old trusty knife, I could have stopped them from kidnapping Marina. I love the sound of clam chowder. It'd be a good name for a sword, I'd say. Knave, I shall unsheath clam chowder on thee. What? What are you on? Okay, it doesn't look like they react Ashley any differently now. Ah, here it was a girlfriend that was kidnapped earlier. At least she's safe now. You rescued her like a knight in shining armor, eh? You could say that. I mean, I was a knight. That's a thing. The armor shiny. That's also a thing. Uh, that's pretty much where that ends. Look at him. The words are foreign. You cannot read the book. But you know who can read foreign languages, right? You see a book entitled Crimson Noble Sanctuary. Do you want to read it? Crimson Noble Sanctuary, the promised land, is the land uh, the, of the Crimson Nobles is now forsaken. We Crimson Nobles were torn asunder by the blaze of disaster. And now I am the only one left. I must preserve the Crimson Noble's honor and protect this masterless place. We'll meet at our promised land, an island south of Masterless Castle, by Isabel Graceland. That means there is a second Crimson Noble survivor. So we're gonna go do that, like now, because there's no reason not to. All right. So now that we've actually done that, that means that we can actually do, uh, actually find the location because it doesn't appear until you have that. Also, I get to have Maryville run around some more, which is always fun. Why does nobody else have fun animations like that? Also, before I forget, we're actually going to use FP ability or FP reducing abilities here. 
Fire draws 20 FP for personal skill points. She needs them. Nobody else really does, but she does. Uh, Marivold might be able to use them, now that I think about it. Same with Tim, but... Cannon desperately needs it. Alright. South of a Masterless Castle. So, I'm gonna guess south of Sleheim. There's green plus here. Maybe I'm just gonna go over here instead. Oh, wait. No, I have to sell there. That's not where I wanted to go. Ooh. Yellow plus side. Oh, that's right. It's on that, and I can't figure out how to land there yet. I know it's possible. I just can't figure out for the life of me how. All right. That's the Slayheim area, or I should say that's the desert south of Slayheim. Island south of a Masterless Castle. And this is an island south of a Masterless Castle. It's not it. This is, though. It's there. Which means I need to find a spot to land, which is here. Promise catacombs. That doesn't sound like good news. Uh, but it's definitely her theme. Notice that you already have to use Tim's ability to get through here. I think it just requires Tim and Loka's abilities. 50 50 shot and I blew it. Uh, oh, no, that's Electal. Electro. Anything on the other side? No. Cool little staircase. It's completely pointless, but it's cool. I need more beverage. Those things. Let's see what type of enemies are in here. Scarecrows and the Hope Diamond. Only there's two of them. Uh, do I get anything cool? Scarecrow, nothing. Doesn't have anything I care about. Hope Diamond does have something I care about. All right. Nothing I need to pickpocket, just like it actually has a red skill. So I don't need to do that because I can turn undead sc Scarecrow. Skill drain hope diamond. Gimme. Oh well, you die first. Then gimme. Guillotine! I'm assuming that's a one use since the death ability, but uh. Turn. Guillotine. Merciless killing gu guillotine. Single target. Do I actually have any light magic abilities? I don't think I do. Nope. I don't know why I bothered. Oh, that's right. I do know why I bothered defending. I need Tim to kill everything. Luca? Ebony Shade. Which is worse than her bloody cape?
tool Windup Key acquired. Windup Key is a tool used by Merrillville. Press the square button to have the windup key throw spring coils out in front of you. If you affix the windup key to certain blocks, you will see a variety of results. Yep. New ability. All of her abilities are silly. Okay, at least it starts me back here again. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Just terrible at estimating the distance. Actually, I can see it. Can you know? Do you notice that? Like at this angle, I can actually see the edge of the path. Welp, I can't see anything else. So slightly off the current part of the screen. I should have done this out of diagonal. Screw it. Diagonal it is. Yeah, I can see, like... Immediately in front of the block, I can actually see a difference in the darkness. I don't know if YouTube is going to make that impossible to see. Heck, I can't even see it on the OBS preview. This is dumb. At least I can see that edge. Then have to use Mist Cloak. Teleport across. Thank you, Block, for being dumb. Crest. Mega Boost! I don't think there's anything else in here. Save state. Don't want to deal with that ever again. This is an expensive and solidly built coffin, but there's no evidence of it being used. Similar coffins are lined up around. Looks like this place is an underground graveyard. Just wanted to make sure. No tricks. Looks like it's just a plain old coffin. Inside, looks to be empty. I actually don't remember this dungeon. I mean, I know I've gone through it because I know what's in here. But I don't remember anything about it. Like, if this actually does anything for Merrillville's plotline? Father, father, mother. Ah, that must have been the name of her mother that wrote the book. What is it, Merville? It's it's nothing.
Why? Why am I all alone? Yes, I'm always alone. I'm one of the proud Crimson Nobles. The people chosen to live for eternity. My tribe no longer exists. Why am I the only one still alive? If I had died with the rest of my tribe, wouldn't it be suffering? Stacia was my last friend. Wow, that texture work. I don't think I ever noticed that there was a texture there. Hundreds of years have passed since I saw her. Aside from goodbyes being too hard, my life is eternal. People won't do. People get old and die. I have seen many births and many deaths. I no longer have friends in this world. That's why I don't need friends. That's my decision. But now, now there are people, many people who need me. So I've decided. I will join these people who are living now for a little while. I know we'll have to say goodbye someday, but if I have no regrets, that's what I hope for. It's interesting that they're covering the concept of somebody who truly lives forever. It's just... She's going to... Every person that she has ever met is going to die. And unless if she dies an unnatural death, she will live forever. Which makes me wonder what happened to her parents, because, um... They're not here. What are you saying? I am no weakling. Well, we're finished here. Time to move on. Let's go. The guy doesn't have much left after all. Oh, you didn't get a chance to see his yawn. The people of Vilgaia need me. Is there still something in there? Because that seemed a little off. Yeah, there's still something there. I messed up. I'm just going to load from save state because it's in this room. Because I didn't notice that. With my last duplicator. Named is passing on, flowing endlessly, then ceases. Then Dariam's eternal spiral. Guardian of Time, who is also orange. But time doesn't flow equally. If in the limited time you burn up your life, I must seek justice. I seem to remember his ability is awesome. I'm still learning the others. Yeah, it's just speed down. So it's a slow down ability that hits an entire group. But something else that you need to know about Dender I am. Look at how much of a sorcery boost that is. And keep in mind, he already has a sorcery boost. And it cancels somebody's move when you use it. Okay. Uh, I probably should have encountered that battle, shouldn't I? Anyway, uh, I'm going to pause this while we, while I go back to where I was, since I did have to reload save state, so I'll be right back. Actually, I entered a random encounter, so I'll do this first. Ah, just scarecrows. Damn it. I want to see what guillotine looks like. Just conventional instant death, okay. Nova Rain, die. Okay, now I will repause. And back. Well, now that we have the wind-up tool, there's a couple of other places that we want to go. 
Uh, where is the Lost Garden at? Lost Garden. Lost Garden. I'm looking at the map for reference. Lost Garden. Why can I never find anything on this map? It's three. Is there? Okay. I recognize where it's at. Maribel actually has a really sad story. I'm glad that her story actually continues a little bit. There is more to it. I need to use this stupid... Just landing here for now. I actually need to teleport to the Valeria Chateau in order to have the hovercraft in the correct location. It's so weird. Don't understand it. It's here. This is the Lost Garden. Alright, it's the third room. I've gone through this dungeon so many times. In here. This is the thing. So many things. Full revive. Duplicator. Crest. Mega boost. And my mic. My mic is for Maryville's use. Press the square button, my mic will sing a beautiful song sung by Mary Maryville. The song beckons all the hidden monsters and forces them to fight. That's right. We have the Maya guitar again. There's actually no enemies in the here, so. Also another mecha boost, so I should use that. I think that might be the last mecha boost. Uh, let's see. Time for more stuff that we can do now. I don't know why I canceled that. All right. No, I only need five more force points on, or five more levels on Tim before he can do anything that he wants on round one. I'm assuming Gizmos don't have anything for Maryville. Uh, that's the wrong tab. What am I doing? Gizmo. Nope, they've got nothing. Actually, they're... They're not something that I'm going to be able to fight normally. I really need an area of effect attack. Screw it. Run away. Not worth fighting. They're not going to get me anything that I really care about. So we had something in the lost city of Arkheim. There's something in one of these rooms that we couldn't reach before that we can now. I don't remember exactly where it's at. So I'm gonna have to poke around a little bit, but.
Here it is. So many things that we can get at this point. Scapegoat and Life Orb. Life Orb in Wild Arms 1 at least was increased maximum hit points. Restores full hit points in end of combat. Wow. That is actually practically vital on Ashley now that I think about it. Where do you get those? Yeah. Northern building. Apparently there's more stuff here that I can actually get. I didn't realize that. I'm pretty sure I never got the rest. Although they're just one-use items, so. That's not as big of a deal. Dustman! You don't get moves. They weren't going to anyway, but you know. Huh. I didn't realize that did damage. Neat. I guess that makes sense because it did damage for um, when it got used on me. Die. Okay. West Wing. These. I never realized I can get these. Which makes sense, they had to get them somehow. All right, we've got one more. One more of those ray points and then we're done. That's what I'm missing. I finally remembered how to get to the in uh, the sea around Sealed Region. I was even right there. Derp. Derp. I can hear people yelling at me from the last video. Because it's right here. Derp, 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 herp, derp. Thought there was a reason why you can, why I was trying to take the hovercraft over there. Forgot I need to teleport. to navigate when you're going at really high frame rate. There we go. Full carrot. Told you there was a few of those. Triffids. 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 Triffids are really simple things that have nothing. Okay.
Bye. Loka leveled up to 45. Cool. Final Raypoint. Raypoint Muse. When the path you are, tra are to travel is closed, don't give up. Turn and see the road that you came on. The road you came on has possibilities concealed to open up the road. Also known as, hey look, behind the other pillars you might find a button. You actually have to have Tim's Wind Cloak ability here. Really? Just use Puka. You are a Gigafrost! Gigafrost is the one that actually has the ability on it. Uh, does it have anything? I don't care about pickpocketing that. Gigafrost, give me absolute zero. Except I can pull. That makes this a little different of a puzzle. Because I can do things like that. Not sure why the praying angels there. Hmm. No more water there, and levels have dropped. Wrong ability. <sighs> Next part of this puzzle. Notice how this one doesn't seem to be themed on anything? trying to do. Quick knife. 
she does get a new weapon. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like she's doing anything in this dungeon. Like, yeah, there's grappling hooks. She doesn't. She has yet to actually need to use any of them. In fact, Tim's ability is more useful in this dungeon. <sighs> Such a waste. It's like they didn't know what to do with Cannon. Which is sad, because she's such an interesting character, potentially. I mean, like I said, she doesn't even get to use those- uh, get to get those herself. There's just- hey, look, there's grappling posts. Alright. Down to the bottom. Confusion, you. Cut off along with the rest of you. Hey, look! It's the Spriggan Muse night. Ooh. Hey, look! I wonder what theme this one is. You know what? No. We're using Brad this time. We didn't get to use him last time. Last couple of times, actually. I've decided I wanted to use Brad. I don't get to use him very often. Let's build up some force points. Holy crap, his attack is so high with Hype Weapon up already. Ow. Twenty. Ninety-six, right. Meh. Heal cannon. Actually, uh, you have the Holy Tablet. You're getting a teddy bear. You are getting to use the Holy Tablet. Sure. Full heal. I barrier. Mm, punch. No more shields. That's too much hype weapon. Water catastrophe, which hurts a lot. Switching for Tim.
boost railgun to the face. Railgun! Which does... That's it. Okay, well, I, work. I did it again. I can already hear the disappointment in everybody's voice. Oh well. I mean, there's better places to get XP at this point. Like the first engine of the game, of course. Alright, let's get people back up. down. Lonely Virgin Muse heals her heart by being with another. Lonesome Virgin travels a road seeking half a body. To heal the heart's loneliness, travel five steps into the cold wind, three steps to the sinking sun. So five steps north, three steps west. steps north, three steps west. Five steps north, three steps west. This area is awfully familiar to me. Like, I had to come back here multiple times. Jump shoes! I really don't like that tool because most tools in the game it's like oh you can totally think of creative uses for these things this no zone get down zone no one two three Oh, I know. I remember now. This one's actually a clever puzzle. I remember having to figure this out. See how there's two statues here? Remember the statues that were around before? Oh, this is the entrance to the dungeon, isn't it? What was your weakest weakness, Gorbash? Gorbash? Wasn't that... Wind or something like that? Yeah. What the heck's the Gorbash doing here? That was the entrance. Okay, so we need to check each of these areas. For the one that's by themselves. There we go. This is not by themselves. Alright. Let me through. This one's by themselves. Okay. Okay. 
Aha. Discolored floor tile. Again, this would make sense if, you know, there was ever an explanation of this in the entire game. But, you know. Whatev. The heck are you? An electrigger? Electrigger. You don't give me anything and you're weak against fire. Okay. Okay. Hi, Zone. I don't miss having to constantly do this on Tim. And we still have three more Guardians or four more Guardians left? Right. Oh, it's going to be this way. That's a dead end. Hey, look, it's using a mechanic that only gets used in this dungeon, basically. There's a couple of spots that it can get used at. The Muse's path is the flowing path. It always flows from top to bottom. Create the road by uniting the future by walking on it. Step firmly, for that is the step of the path of the Muse. Guess what I need to do. Looks like the middle one. I didn't want to cancel out of that, but I also did. I'm getting tired. I've been doing a lot of these today. These have all been on the same day. I think it's this one. Yes. It's Buka time, obviously. Mega Berry. Ambrosia. I didn't even see what that was. I don't think it was equipment. I think it might have been another one-use item. Although, apparently I forgot to equip upgraded thing. Um, she's already gotten her ability. I'm going to assume it was a one-use item of some variety, like a war respite. I can always check it... Um, in the video later. Nope. Reflex. I remember reflex. That was a useful item back in Wild Arms 1. I don't think it's all that useful in this game. It's this one. I think. Actually, wait, the walkthrough should list what the item is, right? No idea. It's probably another Mega Berry or something. Okay. I had a little bit of chili on my collar. This one has to face that. Which means... Which other ones are... Stuck. That one is stuck. This one has to face there. 
That one is stuck. That has to face this. Which means that this one has to face up. Okay, which means these two need to face each other. That one has to face up. This one has to face across. And these two need to face each other. Believe it or not, I actually am good at puzzles. I'm just terrible in three dimensions for puzzles. Other than Portal 2 and Portal 1. For some reason, I'm really good with Portal. Nothing else, though. Alright. Do we actually get any more Lara Fring Cannon? If it is, it's probably very light. Hey, Cannon. To the one who threw it all away, but could it throw away their confusion? Who? Who are you? I am the Will of Power. Spirit of Venus. You know, as you do. If you want to liberate the Waypoint Eye Control, you gotta get rid of your confusion, man. It just... Ugh. My confusion? Ah, uh, now we have vertical lines. Confusion. I who gave up everything, but the one only thing I can't give up is the confusion? I'll do it, yeah, I'll throw it away, whatever. It's how I became strong, it's how I'll get powerful. So I, too, discarded myself? That's it. If I don't do it, I'll never get to be a hero. It wasn't the... I wasn't able to acquire the power to exercise evil. Huh, it's an odd story. But you've got the blood of the sword magus flowing within you. Why'd you give that up? The th Why'd you throw away your body? That was to... Tell me. All those years passed, I'd endured the abuses of a bionic body. Would I have become a hero? Am I somehow different from the other mercs? I did I want to become a hero anyway. Oh, I remember. I was raised here by my mother telling I was raised hearing my mother tell just ah. I was raised hearing my mother tell stories about the sword magus. I always hoped that I had the sword magus within me. The blood that is, not the literal sword magus. I always thought that if I were a hero, I'd be able to get out of the situation. That's right. I always thought about how to escape from that dark slum. So I think Cannon is actually from Guild Galad. Because it's the only slum in the game. And I remain the hero of the authority. That's how it was, right? But I was always lonely. The world just like that slum and spread everywhere. What I saw wasn't a hero. I wanted a group of friends who needed me. That's why you wanted to be needed. So you needed... Yeah, so you wanted to be needed. That's why you tried to be a hero, right? That's right. That's why I wanted to be a hero. Find a place where I belonged. A place of friends. If only they had actually focused more on her story. She's had two story arcs. Two, or not even arcs, story mentions. Two dungeons of hers. And she shared this one with Tim, for that matter. But, why do I feel so estranged when everybody's by my side? You should know. Because I refused everyone. Be brave. Reach out your hand. If I do that, probably accept me. Belief becomes the bind that ties me to them. Accept and recognize me as one of the group. Broken bionic implants can only shorten one's life. Don't refuse me. It helped me get back my original body of living flesh. Huh. My real self? Let's go home together. Do I should burn it up. I think I'm missing something in the translation there. Because, yeah, there's almost certainly like a phantom limb syndrome type of thing going on. 
Why? How? Can it? You you don't have your original body. In fact, you got the bionic implants again. What the heck's going on? Because that's what I wished. That's right. You wish not for the body you were born with, but the power to fight for a bionic. Bionic? Bionic! For a bionic body. That, that's the part I don't understand. What the hell? You've spent a lot of time obsessing over something trite. Heroes aren't passed through blood relations. We do determine the birth of the hero. There's something stronger flowing in me than blood. It's oil. Lots and lots of oil. Clearly more important than the sword badge's blood. It's so friends I've been searching for. That I've made zero attempt whatsoever in actually being friends with any of you. The constricted body I have always sought is the bond that ties me to my friends. Cannon, you tried to kill me three times and are still promising to kill me. You're not really a friend. This is what I mean when they say to accept all that's given. Feel like I have it in me to both the power to fight and the bonds with my friends. Confusion pff, doesn't exist in me. Confusion's gone. Well, good job. I'll liberate myself now. Yeah, you fight with us. Just like you. Just want to protect Vilgaia. Gat 4. Which is only useful on one ability. It's from Irvin. Raypoint liberation complete. Mana, the lifeblood of Philkaya is free. Hmm, it sure seems that way. I register an increase in mana here too. This must might just be the ticket. Ask Mariabool, Silverland, and Guild Galad for permission to use the live reflectors. We commence operations against Kuiper Belt upon your return. Return at once. Over and out. Liberation complete. I've been sitting too long today. Messages from Maria, Sylvia Land, and Guild Galad all received. All three countries cede the right to use the respective live reflectors to the arms. For the next 12 hours, all the live reflectors are under control of the arms. We hereby commence the maneuver to capture the encroaching parallel universe. The Kuiper Belt! Connect via the wireless each live reflector to the mana released from the waypoints. Adjustment of the reflection angle, imprisonment by the life energy mana, deploy the trapezodon! All right, trapezohedron. Oh yeah, D20 time. Bam, we're gonna trap it in a D20. It'll only roll one. Oh no, there's a D20 meteor hitting Fogaya. I'm in a silly mood because I'm tired. Live reflector connections are all okay. Uh, reflection rate's down to 8%, but all okay. Hard to believe that Maria Bull, Civil Land, and Guild Galad are all re cooperating. What the heck? Ah, freeing of the live reflectors and fighting together? <laughs> Unthinkable before. It's miraculous, isn't it? Recent enemies working together. It's all because of Vilgaia. It's all because Vilgaia. All of Vilgaia. It's because all of Vilgaia is threatened. There's no choice but to join forces. I've got to do my part too. The right point tele telegeo mixer is operating at 84%. Mana supply is proceeding as planned. Everything seems to go about as well as we can hope. What's the capture ratio of the Kuiper Belt in the blockaded region? What? How can it be? Oh, oh what's wrong? 
Wow, the capture ratio is only 0.024%. That's way too low. My fault. Can't believe it. The body isn't trupping it. What shall we do? We should get out there, right, Irving? Mm. Yeah, there may be un unfortunate dangers, but there's no choice. Right now, the Kuiper Belt is partially imprisoned in a cage of mana. It is almost alive. It is vulnerable because it's not a world, but a being. We must attack now. There's only chance that we miss it, there will never be another. Arms must enter the blockaded region and annihilate the Kuiper Belt. Notice that there's symmetry in this particular shot, except for one person. Merrillville is not really supposed to be here. I think Merrillville should probably have been located behind Irving in this case, but eh. Now measuring the trapezohedron hedron's touchdown. Now measuring the D20 touchdown point. It'll be in the land of death and destruction at the center of all the old Slayheim Slalt Flats. Are we to that point now? We do have control at this point, right? I don't have to keep playing. Kind of need to go to bed. Okay, good. Let's save in the Valeria Chateau and end for the night, shall we? There's enough plot this time. It's kind of sad that we'll never fly around the Valeria Chateau again. It's also really awkward and not very useful of a flying craft, but you know. Still sad. And that's it. Hope you've enjoyed this internet. Huh. Means I never actually saved in Raypoint Muse. <laughs> I'll talk to you next time. Bye!